Hello YouTube, RHJF back in with another video and today's video is going to be a response to a comment that I had on one of my latest videos and it was to revamp my next and access guide but more specifically if I could just answer a question it was basically how do I find the exact margins for next and SS items and I'm going to do my best to answer your question, but unfortunately there's no quote unquote exact way to find the margins without specifically testing them yourself. But since the items are buy limit of two or one every four hours, wasting one of your buys on testing the limit or all of your buys if it's one of the one items is unfortunately not worth your time. So I will show you the best way that I have found to do the items for the best profit margin while still buying them relatively quickly and making them a flip as opposed to a long-term merch. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into a very very common item which would be like for instance the British robe mask. So the next NSS forum price is under 10 which means that at very very most you can get 10 mil. So what you're going to want to do is obviously search up your British mask which I will go ahead and do right now on the screen and uh, just ignore whatever this price is because that is relevant to what the actual price is at this point but so under 10 so now what you can do is gauge your margin for however much you want so if you want to wait a really long time and maybe buy it and maybe not you could go maybe 9 mil and 100 K now the chance of this buying is very slim because it is a commonly traded item so the margin is going to be slightly smaller but technically you are under 10 but what I found is they update the price for every 500k so if it was selling for this much it would just be 9 plus instead of under 10 so with that knowledge you're gonna want to always pay more than 9 5 0 0 k so that is the bare minimum that you're going to want to pay now if you want to do it this way you could always start with this number and put it in and wait and sometimes it will buy sometimes it won't so give it like five minutes maybe at this number and this would be a 500k margin and but then after like five minutes if it doesn't buy maybe bump it up to 9600k and then leave it at this price for maybe 10 minutes or so and this would give you a three to four hundred k margin depending on how you're going to sell it which I will get to later if it does buy at this price now notice I've done nothing exact here I've just plugged in numbers this is the best way to do it and there's no real exact way unless someone posts in the chat which I have loaded up but there's no piece here the exact number for which they sold theirs for so that is unless someone posts it in the chat there's no exact number that you can buy or sell one of these items for so say you put it in for 9.6 mil and it buys now the margin is still under 10 so what you're gonna do is take your item and pretend now I'm selling it you're gonna wanna start with maybe 995 okay now the chance of it selling this is also very small just like it was at buying at exactly 9500 because it's a commonly traded item and it's pretty low in value for Nex and SS items. So you leave it in here for maybe five minutes it might sell it might not but only do one of these at a time. So buying both of them will if the market crashes on you for say um, then you'll be stuck with two instead of one and if you only have one you can usually at least always get your money back but with two it's a lot harder to just only get your money back so and then if this doesn't sell maybe five minutes I'd drop it down to nine nine oh okay and then I'd leave it there a little bit longer I'll go ahead and plug that in and uh, say that doesn't sell then I drop it to ninety eight fifty and then ninety eight hundred etc until it sells now you know the margin or pretty close to the margin and you can buy your other one at exactly what you bought and sold for. Now note it might not buy and sell for the exact same amount in the exact same amount of time. So if you find that it buys really fast, you might want to sell for maybe 50 or 100k lower because the margin might be going down. Or if it takes really long to buy at the margin, maybe move it up, then maybe you can sell it for a little bit more. Now I will go into other items in a second. So for what I just told you, that was for the items that are two for every four hours which includes the Virtus line, the Pernix line, the Torva line and uh, those items. Now there are items like the boots and gloves and the spirit shields which are one every four hours. With these items you can make a slightly bigger margin and I will tell you why in a second. So let's say we want to go with the uh, let's go with the arcane spirit shield. 
and uh, currently the guide price is under nine so like I was just saying with these items though you can make a bit margin so if it's under nine this you might be able to throw in 8300 K because you can only trade one every four hours as opposed to two so the margins will be slightly larger now with that 8300 the chance of buying is slim but possible 8400 is a good number to go with and then move it up uh, maybe 100 K every five or ten minutes like you were doing with the other items until you find where it buys at and then uh, repeat the process with the sell and uh, you will find that you'll have a bigger margin like for instance um, in my practices of the two items every four hours like the Virtus, Pernix, and Torva you will probably get a 200 to 300 K margin on the lower priced items and then on the higher priced items of the set for instance uh, Pernix body, Torva body, Torva legs you'll probably get a four to five hundred K margin because the item is more expensive less people are going for it so uh, just bigger margin and then uh, so what I just showed you is for boots and gloves relatively the same thing but you will find that you get a bigger margin for these items and uh, in the end we'll make more profit but you can only flip one so you won't be able to know the margin for your second item you will just have to strictly just guess and check like I've showed you and then for the wand and book are five every four hours which means that they're probably not worth doing I would save those for very last because the margins will be very small because there's trading five every four hours instead of one or two so I hope this has answered your question and if you would like me to make other videos in response to your questions make sure you leave those in the comment section down below well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Helps me out a lot. And uh, subscribe if this is your first video. That would be cool. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a nice day.